hi we are here for our third installment of the Vanderbilt weight loss clinic I have lost 30 pounds and Ernie has lost 48 pounds 48 pounds what I should have been like yep. drum roll please it's crazy so look at the back we're in Ernie's vehicle like we thought we might possibly have to take two vehicles today because we have cleaned out our closets and we've gotten rid of everything that is too big for us. It's amazing. Oh, it's such a good feeling. Yep, went down from a 4X to a 3X and some of the 3X are loose on me and I went from size 46 pants to 42 pants, but they are loose on me, but I haven't bought any new clothes. These are clothes that I had getting up to that weight, so I still have plenty to wear. It's just that clothes that I could, uh, was, I grew out of. Yes. Yeah, so, so we do. We, we've, I've gotten rid of over half my clothes, but I still have plenty of clothes. Yeah. But I'm in the smallest size that I have available. Like, I thought I had jeans I could still like shrink into, but I put on my my smallest jeans were 22s. I started out in size 26, and I put on my 22s last week, and they fit fantastic. I was like, oh snap! I thought I had a little bit more time. And I have a belt that I've had for five years, I think, and I'm down to the last ring on it so uh, just by it by the measurement of it I've lost probably six six eight inches on my waist and the thing is, is I can't even tell by looking in the mirror I can't tell that I've lost weight but my clothes fit different and the other day we went to a Mexican restaurant and we used to have to squeeze into the booth because uh, my belly rubbed up against the table Almost fair days. You know how tight those booths are. Yeah. Well, you do if you're overweight. Yeah. So we went the other day and got in it, and we had a whole bunch of room. And, and so much room. So <laughs> much. So much room for activities. Yeah. It was amazing. So, on that I can tell, but just it's crazy how you can look in the mirror and not be a, not think that you've uh, lost any weight, which I guess you just need to look at the scale and and notice how your clothes fit because looking in the mirror I don't know if it's on it, it's no I can tell does. I can totally tell I've lost weight I don't know how he can't tell yeah I mean I just I feel like I look like a whole different person and it's only 30 pounds for me and I'm just like ah, this is amazing yeah so one of the drawbacks is or was is I was on cholesterol medicine and I'm thinking that the more weight I lost I guess the the potency of the cholesterol medicine was getting stronger because uh, you know oh. that's that's the only thing I can figure out. Well, that but, makes sense. Yeah, it was really bothering him. It was it very was, painful. Yeah, it it was to where I was taking a, a lot, a lot of ibuprofen and uh, Tylenol just to be able to function because I I just ached all over like like I had done a hard workout and the day before and the muscle soreness of doing a workout for the first time that's how I felt all day long every day so uh, my doctor let me get off of the cholesterol medicine and other than a few lingering pains I feel way better so mm -hmm. uh, it helps me move around too is when, I, when I'm not in pain because a lot of times I just don't want to do anything because I hurt so bad so I think it's a plus plus I'm finally getting some of the benefits of losing that much weight. Yes. Yeah, it's it's awesome. It's it's a weird also we've talked about it you have to retrain your brain that that we can do things we couldn't do before. Um like thanks to my workout and the weight loss, I can get down on the floor and go look for things underneath the sofa or under the bed and just jump right up where before it literally was painful for me to get on the floor. I'd have to put pillows down for my knees. I'm not kidding. And it was just, it was a chore. And and so I'll be, I dropped something under the dryer the other day. Our dryer is raised up, clothes dryer. And I'm like, oh man, I gotta get down there. And I was like, no, what you, what you upset about? You can get down there. And uh -huh. I can just do it just like that. And it's 
even going upstairs sometimes, my body is like, you can't go up that many stairs, you know, and I'm like, yes, you can. Yep. It's just fine. It's even like uh, going to the grocery or something like that. You're always looking for the closest parking spot. Right. So you don't have to walk <laughs> so far. But now, you know, like, even if matter. you have to park far away, it doesn't, it that doesn't bother you. you to go mm -hmm. back, you know, to walk up there. But, you know, your mind still tells you got to look for that closer parking spot because you don't want to walk that far so or even doubling back in the grocery store it's like oh let's go back and look at this aisle or, oh like, let's oh. go back and go to this aisle and it's just like all right let's uh -huh. just go and even on even on regular days walking through Lowe's or, or Publix or anything like that and it's air conditioned in there but heck by the time I got to the register from walking around and stuff I'm broke out in the sweat and everything like I, I've done a workout so it's gotten uh, way better but even when I was dealing with the pain you know the pain makes everything harder so that mm -hmm. contributed to the sweating and, and everything too so uh, I'm finding that it's not as big an issue as it was so I'm just looking forward to getting uh, more weight off of me and uh, getting a lot of this stuff around the house done so I can uh, start working out I know I need to but he said he's going to start working out. And ladies, they're putting, well, gentlemen too, they're putting a pure bar in Mount Juliet. I've already joined. I'm a founding member. So come on and join us at the bar. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm not a pure bar person. I'm a man. <laughs> <laughs> Men can come, but it's mostly women. Yeah. It's such a good workout. Uh huh. Yeah. I don't but, suggest yeah. single men, maybe. Married men, no. <laughs> no, that is not the place to be. It's very uncomfortable. Ernie said he just didn't know where to look, and yeah. I'm like, oh, I totally get that because you know we're all we're all in there together, and you're just doing these little exercises that are small movements. And if you if you're interested, go look at purebar.com or purebar um, on YouTube, and it shows you examples of what the classes look like. And um, so you're doing these small movements, and and yeah, sometimes I'm staring at the, the, the woman in front of me, and I'm like, oh, I'm not trying to stare, you know. Yeah. It's just, you're, I was looking to see how the ex, what the exercise was supposed to look like. And you do that too, like. yes. Yeah, so I'm looking at everybody. But what are we doing it makes now? Me feel like I'm looking at some uh, uh, checking woman her out. I, yeah. <laughs> and it ain't as bad just you know thinking that Lenora is going to see me looking at her as the woman looking seeing that I'm looking at her. <laughs> Like, I'm not really staring, I promise. I mean, why you keep looking at me? Because <laughs> <laughs> you have perfect form. That's right. That might not be the thing to say either. <laughs> you, must, you must have been doing pure bar for a long time. Yeah. There's somebody in our class, and she's been doing, she's got like over 800 classes under her belt. I have 160. And her form is perfect. I do love watching her do it because she's perfect. I'm like, your form. But, all right, well, I guess that's it for now. We're still loving it. Actually, uh, I am off the Fentermine right this very second. I did send a message to Vanderbilt uh, to ask if there's something they recommend. Um, it was giving me constipation, and it just continued to get worse. And I'm already lactose intolerant, so I don't ever experience constipation in my lifetime. And I saw this meme, and it said... Right after someone tells you they're lactose intolerant, they eat without restriction. Yeah, that's what we do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we know we're not supposed to. Uh-huh. But anyway. Um, and I'm still on half a dose. Are you still on half a I dose? I tried doing the full dose, but it, it was just too much. So, yeah. Yeah. And I don't have cravings and stuff. And my problem is, is if, I, if I'm sitting or bored or something, I might go grab something to eat. But other than that, if I'm busy, I can go all day without eating and not feel hungry. I'm never hungry. I just know that I gotta eat sometimes. So, that's it. Still continuing with that. All right, we'll be back next month with another update.